In the previous two missions, you have come up with an app and then you drew all the screens beautifully, one by one. Now we're going to make a real app from these screens that you can try out on a phone or a tablet. First, you are going to digitize by taking pictures from them, all of your screens, and then you're going to link them so that you actually can click through your app. Gather your smartphone or tablet and your screen designs. First, we're going to install the app Pop. Below, there is a link to the app stores. You can pause this video while you install your app. Start up the app, and then click on Create Your First Project. Give your app a name. It's right here on your design canvas. And choose for which phone your app is. If your phone or tablet is not on the list, just choose another one. Then you click on the check mark in the top right hand corner. Now you're going to 1. First take pictures of all the screens you've designed. 2. Then link all the buttons and menus so that you can actually click through your app. Now, first click on the plus sign and choose camera. Your screen changes into a camera with a round red button which you can take a picture. Now put all your designs on the table or on the floor. One by one, take pictures of all your screens. Try to make it fit beautifully, like this. You can continue to take pictures without a break. You can possibly adjust the cutout. You can pause this video while you take the pictures. Good luck! Did you take pictures of all your screens? Good job! The second step, to really make your app work, is linking all of your screens so that you can actually click through them. In this overview, you see all the screens that you have made and digitized. Linking them goes as follows. Click on the first screen where you want to make a link. Make a hotspot. Click on Link and choose the screen where you want the link to go to. Then choose a transition, for example, Slide Up, and click twice on Done. Then do the next one. This way you're going to connect all screens one by one. Quite a lot of work because you have to make sure that they are all connected one way or the other. Now you can click the play button on the bottom and your app will start up. You can try it out yourself or have someone else do it. It's very well possible that you have forgotten a few links the first time or that you have linked them incorrectly. No big deal, you can just adjust them. To get back to the play mode, you press the screen on a long time and choose Leave Play Mode. Your turn! Your app prototype is done! Good job! You came up with your first app, designed it, and now built a real prototype. And, as I said before, a real app is never done. Most apps are continuously adjusted and approved. No wonder you have to update them all the time. In the next mission, we are going to test your app prototype and improve it. 